and I am live. All right, guys. Uh, it's your boy Dronbox here. Uh, I am gonna start making a chessboard. I don't really know why. I'm just bored, and that's what I like. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with piece by piece every stream. I'll do a piece or two. You know, maybe ten minutes, maybe thirty minutes. Soon as. But for right now, I'm going to start off with a chessboard, because that's fairly simple. I might complicate it up later, though. And then I'll also do a, a rook, like the chess piece, you know? Not like the Rainbow Six Siege guy. Uh, for the reference, this is the image I'll be using. I'll actually just not use OBS for this. I'll just show you. Um, so this is the reference I'll be using. Uh, I think I can design this fairly quickly, so let's just go for it. Um, I'll leave the reference up in the small little bit so that you guys can see it, but I'll drive the row in off the side. Another monitor. Um, oh yeah, ignore my steam that I didn't set to do not disturb. Um, I don't know if I can do that from here, so. Uh, looks like I can't. Um, okay. So to get started, I'm going to delete the default cube. Uh, I don't really need the light, and I'll just leave the camera for when I render this in eventually. Alright, but to start this off, uh, this rook piece, it's basically just a big old cylinder with varying thicknesses, so I'm going to start off with the cylinder. Uh, for scaling, I'll make every piece, uh, I don't know, like, uh, that looks right. I'll make it all five units tall, and then for thickness, uh, I'll drag it out. Um, 1.5, there we go, Got a radius of like, uh, 3, that's, that's probably good, I can change it later if I don't like it, and then next up I'm going to add a subdivision surface to the cylinder to give it the smoothness that all the all bits need, the little circles, rings, uh, so subdivision surface, I'll give it 2 and the render gets 3, so we get extra fancy. I'm going to start off by making the ends and out look like, uh, like that. And then, next up, start make, giving it some definition. Um, right here, I'm going to add some subdivisions. And just keep subdividing. Oh, I forgot to turn on screen cast keys. I'm horrible. Um, alright, there we go. You can see my keys uh, right here in the bottom left corner of the viewport. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to add a couple subdivisions, try to get a couple of these rings set up, so that we have some transitions we can use. They're smooth transitions. Alright, um, I'm going to grab these two loop edges. Holy crap, Alt-Shift. Alright, and scale them inwards. Then, uh, I guess I'll grab this one and this one and scale that one in too. Uh, well, that's good for now. I'm gonna actually add a, another one here. And scale you in. Okay, actually, we need to add another one. Uh, in between. Oh, nope. Alright, this is tricky. I gotta zoom in a little. Um, I'm gonna add another one right here. And then we're gonna select these two loop edges. Ooh. Nope, that's not what I want at all. Okay, there we go, and scale that one in. Ooh, I'm sped though, so this is kind of tricky. Uh, like that. There we go. Uh, I might actually want to add one more loop edge and select that one and scale you outwards a little bit. Like uh, like so. There we go. So we got a little, little base. Uh, you can see the reference that I'm using. That there's actually, this is actually uh, way lower. And it also curves out, like, a lot. So that calls for another loop edge, dab dab. Um, we're gonna drag this one out, and expand here. Alright, here we go. We got the rough shape. Uh, I'm gonna add uh, two more loop edges. And then we're gonna take this one, and leave it there. And what we're actually going to do is take this one and move it down a bit, and then we're going to take this one and move it down. But then, you know what we're going to do, actually? We're going to take this one and move it down, too. Alright, once we've done that, 
I actually want to move these two down a little bit more because I person ooh, I personally think oh boy alt shift I personally think that uh, they need to go down um now select this one and scale it outwards all right we've got another ridge going and then this one actually has two ridges I'm not sure if like all of them have two ridges but this one is going to have two ridges also I don't know how stream quality is I've never actually looked at the test stream haha <laughs> Um, yeah, all right, uh, this one has two of these, so I'm going to add three more loop edges and try and scale them closer together and then move them down. Then I'll drag this one out preemptively, oh boy, and then I'll actually try and, I didn't count the distance I used for that, but it doesn't matter since since I don't I'm not doing this like because I need to do it so it's fine all right if you got that going I actually want to have that little like bit where it like, curves in like this I kind of like that so what I'm gonna do is add that in uh, and to do that we are going to take another loop edge and just put it somewhere and make her thin. All right, got somewhere so far. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the sh shading and set it to smooth. That way, it's nice and smooth. That'll definitely help out with render quality. All right, uh, I'm going to add one more of these little like ridge things. This one right here, and then we'll get started on the castle walls. Uh, but to add this ridge, I need three subdivides and then I'll scale those close together move it upper and get this middle one uh, for some reason when I press alt it doesn't show up but that's how I'm doing some of these shortcuts and scale it out and that's actually looking pretty nice uh, I actually do want to get this like batter and going here and maybe even get a little bump I like that all right and now, to get these castles, I'm going to actually need to extrude this, I believe. Actually, you know what, I think, I think this is where we use a different object. Alright, so, shift S, cursor to center, control A, and I'm going to actually make a cube. Uh, I'm going to keep its origin point in the middle, and then, uh, actually, you know what, this might be easier if I... See, the problem with the live streams is there's so many ways to do this, and I don't know which way is the right way. Alright, so I'm going to scale this out, this uh, cylinder, so that it's uh, the right diameter. And then I'm going to move it so it's uh, on top of this. And there we go. Doesn't matter. Um, now, let's actually get the height of this correct. Uh, I like it like that. Okay. And then, we're actually going to cut out little castle things. Castled walls, I guess. I don't know what to call them. From that. So, shift A, make a cube. And then we're going to move this cube upwards. Oh, crap. And then we're going to actually move it. Oh, boy. I'm pressing buttons now. Uh, there we go. We're going to... Move it out over here, and then we're gonna scale it. And I didn't actually check if it's on top. It's not on top. Uh, that's good. And then I'm gonna rotate it at 90 degrees. Now these walls. I don't know how they're supposed to make them, if there's like a good way to make them, but I'm making them my way, and my way is the best way all of a sudden. I just realized, to make these castled walls, they don't go all the way down, so we're actually going to move it up a couple bumps, like here. I can adjust this later if I want to. And then what I'm going to do is actually uh, create one more thing, a circle curve. 
Yeah. And then, actually, if path might have been the one I needed. And then I'm also going to scale that up so that it has the radius we're looking for. And then, that's that's a neat, that's a neato burrito. All right, and then add modifier array, add modifier curve. And then the curve object's Bezier. And, you know, at this point, I honestly have no clue what I'm doing. But I'm sure if I click things for long enough, it'll just work the exact way I want it to. Uh, that's not what I want exactly, but it'll, it'll do. <sighs> Alright, maybe there's another modifier I can use. Okay, actually, I need to add a space between all the curves. There we go. Okay. Um, relatives offset or constant offset? I don't know. And it doesn't have to be picture perfect, I guess. So, I can live with this. I don't know why it chooses... Oh, it's probably because I have a negative wire. I'm going to do regular wire. Or I'll just do negative wire, actually. Yeah, okay. Um... So the offset's gonna be roughly like this, because that looks kind of even. And then, wow, that is weird. Okay, I'm gonna move this whole thing down. And then, that's where the walls will intersect. And then, I'm gonna move this and the uh, circle to layer two. And then what I'm going to do is actually add a modifier to this, the boolean modifier, uh, difference, and then object will be cube. And there we go, we've got some of our battered walls. Uh, next up, I'm going to actually add a circle so that we get that, uh, not a circle, well I guess I could use a circle, but in this case we want to use a cylinder just so I don't have to extrude the circle, making this, I don't know, the same workload I guess. Uh, I actually like the size of the circle. Uh, we're going to line it up, Ooh, I need to keep it locked into the plane. Uh, I'm going to line it up to right here, or it can be a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. Uh, then I'm going to add another modifier to this, add modifier, boolean, and then it's going to be different, so it's more, and cylinder two. And move you to the second layer, and look, we've got, we've got a rook boy. Um, I might want to make it connect a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to see what happens if I apply a subdivision surface. Ooh, no. Bad drawn box. All right. Let's, let's never do that again. Um, let's try and do this. And let's add the shade smooth. Oh boy, this thing looks like a potato. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to make it so that, ooh boy. Wow. Um, what to do here? Add another step. Okay. And then what to do? Ah, oh, man, this thing is ugly. Uh, extrude down and then extrude. Oh boy. Extrude straight down and then scale it in, I guess. And then, um, uh, select this loop edge if it'll, if it'll let, which it won't. It won't let me. Okay, so I can just select every single edge, I guess. And then move you down. Alright, and then I might need to scale this out a little bit. Oh boy, that is not a smooth intersection at all. I'm going to redo this one day. Maybe I won't though. Um, Alright, then we're going to go to these. And just... Just add a bunch of cuts to it. Like, how many did I even add there? Around like 10. And then, since that's a red, that should probably do all of Oh my gosh. I am making this ugly. Oh boy. This is not part of the stream. Oh my... Ew. It looks like it has, like, lung cancer. Alright. You know what? Let's honestly just render this out. Oh boy, I got a Discord message.
Oh boy, I got two Discord messages. Oh my gosh, I have to like blur- Oh my gosh. Uh, let's close Discord. Oh, no, no. Oh my gosh. I'm doxing myself. Where the heck is Discord? There we go. Alright. That was- that was weird. I didn't smash. Okay. F12. I'm not tapped in. F12. Okay, you know what? Before we render, you know, let's actually make sure that we even have the lights. Because, you know, I feel like a render needs light. Uh, I'm going to add a big old plane here. So that we have like a... Uh, 99999. Alright, so that we have like, you know, background. That kind of chest piece. Uh, we're going to add a, a spot lamp. Ooh, that's some fancy stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, we're gonna angle it like this. You know, really give it that cinematic effect. Control shift Z. Um, that does not hit at all. And then uh, we're gonna go to the light settings and show cone. There we go. And then we gotta make sure that the cone uh, is like... Let's turn up the blend. Reduce this. Actually, let's leave that back at 45. Gotta make sure the cone is like nice and nice and like obscure. All right, uh, the ground. It can just be like a weird reflective metallic color, I guess. Uh, this is an animation, so I'm gonna convert this to a node editor. And then zoom in with my broken mouse wheel. Oh boy. All right. Uh, we're gonna add a mixator, and then I'm pretty sure there's like subsurface scattering. I don't know if that's the one I need, but uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then glossy, and I'm actually gonna connect uh, mixator last. Search mix. There we go. So this goes into here, this goes into here, you go into here, and you go into here. And then uh, you can just be like a... you can be white, honestly. I don't know. White is right. Wait, no, I didn't say that. Oh boy. And demonetized. What a life I live. Um, this needs to be kind of grayish, I guess. Same for you. Uh, chest piece, you are going to be straight black. Will this music demonetize me? Ah, oh, God. Your boy's demonetized. Um, actually, the chess piece is not going to be straight black. Yeah, obviously, it's going to have a slight gloss to it. I wish I knew how to use shaders better. This needs a mix. I'll probably learn over the course of this, you know, make some improvements. Not that anyone's actually watching this. No. This is for me. Uh, let's go to the preview. Um, this seems to be darker. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That looks like butter. Alright, back to here. Uh, what if I increase the scattering? Ooh. Alright, what if I turn this back to like a reasonable number? Like two or twenty or like five maybe maybe even five all right render and stream goes to crap as as it should while I'm rendering all right this light is crappy and needs more light also I don't know what I'm using for my render engine I high key, I don't, it's under scene settings. Mm, it's under, it's under one of these settings. World? Oh boy. I'm gonna skip this. This is copyrighted. Everything here is copyrighted. Oh boy. Color management, there we go. Uh, Rex 709 color management, I think. 
No way, I need sRGB. Um, there we go, filmic log. That's the color space I was looking for. Um, filmic renderer? And then... I usually use uh, default for this one. No, I use filmic. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm disabled. Okay. Okay. And then I need to just crank this light up. Like, let's just crank him. How do you even do that? What the? Strength. Alright. Alright, render. Oh my gosh, it's rendering here. Okay. Oh my god, this thing is ugly. Oh boy. Alright, okay. What we're gonna do... What are we gonna... Alright, we're, we're deleting this light. And we're just gonna use the good old... Good old plain light. Cursor to center, shift A and mesh. Plain. Oh boy. Do I not have the... Square selected? Plain, I'm sorry. Where the heck is it? Alright, what I'll do is delete it and make a new one. Oh, I keep pressing age. I'm stupid. Okay. I actually don't know where the plane is, so let's just delete it again and then make one more. And uh, let's delete this too. I didn't delete everything over here. I don't know what the heck I have selected. Okay, what what is this plane? Okay, that's just the ground. All right, so make a new plane, scale it, and move it up. Right here, scale it up. Add node, emission, and strength, boop, and render. All right, this is a little bit too white. That light's too strong. Uh, ten. All right, um, let's angle it now. Uh, 30 degrees, that sounds like a number. And let's move her over this way. And then we're gonna reduce the slight strength a little bit more. And render. Okay. It's looking pretty neat so far. Uh, I just need to fix up that little bit of mistake. All right, let's uh, try doing let's try doing some some Disney magic here. Hopefully, hopefully Disney doesn't sue me for that. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh oh boy, is uh, create a copy of this. Is it shifty, yeah, shifty, and then move this over to the second layer, and then what I'm gonna do is go to this and apply the modifiers. And okay. I should not have applied subverse, subsurface, subsurface. And then what I'm going to do is try to add some loop edges to this to get rid of that that ugliness. Oh my, this isn't working. All right, all right, new plan, new plan, new plan. All right, all right. Let's just let's just let's just undo. Can I undo life? All right. We're deleting, we're deleting you. We're gonna go to you, and then we're gonna add boop, and boop, and boop. Yeah, that should apply to everything. That changed literally nothing. Okay, all right. What else can I do? What if I do that? That does nothing too. Okay, glad to hear that, John Lux. And I have no clue what I just did. Ah! Oh boy, I broke it. Okay, it's fixed again. What a tricky scenario I have put myself in. Alright, what, what if we do these two again? But then, we just turned off subsurface. That honestly looks fine. You know what, those corners need to be sharp. Alright, render. Alright, alright, recalculate UVs. 
Uh, shading, UVs, uh, recalculate. All right. And honestly, does this really need to be shaded smooth? F12, go. Okay, you can definitely see that like there's a line in between where I where I made the two objects. <laughs> but but you know, let's just call that not a design flaw, you know? Is that not relatable? Alright, I'm liking the way this is coming out actually. And the stream's been going on for only like what? Twenty five minutes? And I accidentally started recording. Oh boy. Quite exciting indeed. Alright, so I'm gonna let this render. And then, I think I'll call this completed. Ah, oh, dang, I had my, my thing covering up some stuff right here. Oh, you can't even see it right here. It's so sad. Ah, uh, render is rendering. I don't know if the stream's encoding is encoding or not, but it's not like not 30 FPS. It's like 27, 24. Click F. Okay, that apparently doesn't fit the screen. Ha. I accidentally cancelled the render. Okay, well, you get the idea. Alright, and thumbnail. Um. Actually, yeah, I'm glad. I'm satisfied with this. Alright, I just noticed the top is kind of a lot more massive than the bottom, but. That's a problem for another day. So sad. Alright. Now time for the chess actual board. I'm gonna actually save this first before I like, you know, lose it forever. Under uh, stream, 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 chess board, create new file. Rook. Caps lock is turned on. Rook. Oh, rook. Okay, and we got Rook. Alright, new startup file. And we're gonna call this one... Board. Alright, for the board it's gonna be fairly simple. I'm gonna keep this one two-dimensional for now. We're just gonna scale this up to like... 20. And then... New shader. Uh, material. Ooh, this is not set to Blender Render. I mean, this is set to Blender Rental, that's the problem. Uh, we're going to change the cycles. Uh, then nodes, these nodes. Okay. Zoom in on this fox right here. Oh boy. And my mouse will suck. Alright, uh, so diffuse, uh, we're going to insert a generator texture, uh, checker texture, because a checker, I mean, a chessboard is indeed a checkered if I recall correctly, which I most definitely do recall. Uh, they're, they're black and white, I guess. Uh, yep. Um, what else do I need? Oh yeah, uh, glossy, glossy. Uh, I might figure out, I might, like, make a bump map, too, from, like, a noise from my mouse position or something, to, like, really give it some, some, like, cardboard feel, but, but not now. Maybe not ever, who knows, I might not actually figure it out. Uh, let's go to the material preview, that is way too glossy. Um, yeah, probably because, because it's connected directly into glossy, I need a mix shader. And I also probably need to change the scale of the checker texture, but I'll figure that out. That might look good. Who knows? Um, I'm going to change this to material view. And then we need to scale this to like 15. This looks good for now, but I'll, I'll get the details in it later. Um... Let's get this to rendered view. Uh, is there a light source anywhere? Holy crap, mouse wheel. I'm gonna need you to stop. Stop being like this. Alright, let's amplify this light. 
that's honestly probably like way really strong. F12. The blacks aren't as black as I'd like them to be, and the, the white is white. So, yeah, I guess I'm okay with that. I'm gonna make the diffuse more rough. And probably give diffuse a little bit more priority. Yeah, just like that. That's looking like butter. Okay, I think I'm good here. Alright, this is where I end the stream. If you guys like this stream, subscribe, I guess? Uh, normally I don't. I don't recommend myself. Um, and like, and comment. And if you didn't like the stream, then why did you watch the stream, you know? Uh, support me on Patreon and Super Chat? Oh boy. Yeah, that's about it, really. Okay, bye. How do I end stream?